What's going on everyone? It's Brain with Jacoji Fine Jewelry, your personal jeweler. Today we're going to do a Young Metro Jewelry Review. Let's get started. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Jacoji Fine Jewelry. Visit my website www.jacoji.com. Calm. If you love jewelry review videos, then smash that like button. Smash, 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 smash. Now with some top rappers and athletes we've yet to review, why are we taking the time to review Young Metro's jewelry? Well, because Young Metro is that talented of a producer, songwriter, that he has taken some average rappers and making them into top hits, making people millions of dollars. It's like quarterbacks, how they buy their offensive line, nice gifts, watches, big screen TVs, because they protect the quarterback and make them look good, giving them time in the pocket to do what they do best. That is exactly what Young Metro does for a lot of guys. He takes a song and just makes it great that we all enjoy on the radio. Now, he's with all that success comes the money. He's definitely invested that and spent that in his jewelry. I saw some posts on the Aviani Instagram, and he has gotten a lot of dimes. It looks like he's more into white gold. And the signature piece that I like the most is the puffy Gucci links, fully flooded out in that bolt. I think that bolt's really creative. It has the 3D, the two different levels of it to help it stand out. And just by looking, and we do a, a reviews on a lot of Aviani's pieces, they definitely love to flood all their designs out. That's not bad. Sometimes, like I said, in pretty much every jewelry review video, when you have that many diamonds or gemstones, it does take away from the detail, but you know, you can't complain on having that many diamonds on one piece. He's also got a really cool custom booming charm and just a different few different diamond charms with the diamond tennis chains, which are very expensive. Assuming they're all real, which I don't know why they wouldn't be, you wouldn't want to sell Young Metro a fake or synthetic diamonds, bad qualities, because we all know what happens if Young Metro don't trust you. It doesn't end well. So, and and is it me or is white gold coming back into play? You're, you're seeing more and more custom pieces and these rappers pieces being in white gold. I love white gold look. I think white gold enhances a white diamond the best. So it's a smart move when you go with white gold. But a lot of people like yellow gold, obvious reasons. Um, but it is good to see someone with all white gold pieces on. And he wears them well. He has the typical layered look with all the diamonds. And it has kind of the chunky look. And he wears the shorter chains. It just fits his style and what his appearance is. Another job well done as far as someone wearing jewelry that suits his build and kind of his personality. And if we want to talk numbers, asking what that setup costs with the diamond chains and the custom pieces, guys, those diamond tennis chains alone, and it all varies based on what the actual size of each diamond is, the carat weight, but those are an easy twenty to $50,000 each. I think sometimes people DM or email be like, oh, I want a diamond chain, I got $5,000. That's not gonna get you close to those type of diamond chains. They are very expensive because of the carat weight they require. So he's got an easy quarter million dollars worth of jewelry on, and I'm sure with his career and the things the way things are going right now is no big deal, and we will be seeing more nice custom pieces on his neck, I'm sure, in the near future. But all in all, very good job. I love the overall look. I love what he does in his career, and also his jewelry is very nice. A plus, 99.9% .9 on that jewelry setup. Thank you for watching, and we will see you on our next jewelry video.